It's Time Travel Astronaut with a, another Let's Play, and this time it's Chrono Trigger. And I know what you're thinking. Did that motherfucker just say Chrono Trigger wrong? And normally I'd fucking agree with you. Except recently I watched another person play this game, and they called it Chrono Trigger. And it blew my mind. So that's what I call it now. It's a good game, I enjoy it. It's one of those games where you had to play it as a kid. I don't know how I'd feel about this game if I played it right now for the first time. There might be some flaws I could find, but you pretty much had to like this game as a child. I'm pretty sure it was a requirement. If you were with your friends and one kid was like, yeah, I didn't like Chrono Trigger, you'd be like, that's Hitler Jr. He's got Hitler blood in him. You can't hate Chrono Trigger. You can't. Hitler Jr. There's one thing I'm upset about. I had this intricate, delightfully subtle joke planned where I'd name each character after a kind of clock. And it would just dance in the back of your mind. Why did he name the characters such weird things? Normally he calls them Goober. And then eventually it would click, maybe part 16 or 24. Oh, there are kinds of clocks. That's crazy. But, uh... Some fucking super genius that made this game decided that the character name should only be five characters. And let me assure you that you cannot make a variety of names with fucking five characters. Ruin my fucking subtle joke. Your character system's bad and you should feel bad, Squaresoft. God damn it. All right, let's do this thing. Battle mode, active time battle version two. I'm guessing this is an upgrade from Final Fantasy three, which was my last let's play, but I'm pretty sure the active time is inferior in this one. But I'm not a baby, so I'm gonna put it on active. Enemies will attack even when you're not ready. Oh no. Enter a name and then push the start button. You ruined my fucking delightfully witty joke. Your name is Dix. It's Dick. I don't care. That's a normal name. People can be named Dick. Don't let my angry names confuse you. I enjoy the game quite thoroughly. It's just... They ruin my fucking joke. That's what I get for thinking up fancy fucking jokes beforehand. Just gotta play it by ear. Dick. Dick! Good morning, Dick. Come on, sleepyhead, get up! Ah, Aline's Bell makes such beautiful music. You were so excited about the Millennial Fair that you didn't sleep well, did you? I want you to behave yourself today. Let's get moving now. You fucking sorry, Mom. Jesus Christ. Yeah, excited for the new day. I never do that ever. 
That's not something you do in real life. Close these fucking blinds. Jesus Christ, woman. Finally, by the way, that inventor friend of yours, uh, you know. Oh dear, I forgot her name. I didn't. It's Wang. Everybody gets a dick name. I don't care. That's right, Wang. Don't forget that she invited you to see her new invention. Run along now and be back before dinner. Pretty sure I'm fucking up all their names by putting that space at the end. Cat, what are you doing? The cat's stuck in the wall, that's not good. Check out my fucking house. So there's just the one bed. Do I sleep with my mother? Is that... It's not really my type. I'm not into green heads. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your allowance, dear. Have fun at the fair. Received 200 Gs. So there's a radio, a stove, and a refrigerator. Alright, let me just fucking remember the buttons. Run. Uh, I've been playing for three minutes already. Son of a bitch. Dick is level one. He's got wood sword, hide cap, hide tunic, and a bitchin' bandana. Um, save, no. This one. Stereo is on. Battle speed is fast. Message speed is kind of fast. Window color. I've got wood. Save menu cursor. Fuck yes. Battle gauge. I think I hate Battle Gauge 2, but I'll learn that lesson the hard way. Save Battle Cursor? Fuck yes. Control Pad Standard. Save, yep. Skill Item Info on. We're set. We're ready to Chrono Trigger. Goodbye, cat. Now, just like all the games I play, there's plenty of secret shit that I'll totally ignore because I get distracted. You there, blonde woman. Hard to believe Guardi is now 1,000 years old, and our king is the... Oof. 33rd descendant to the throne. But how can he rule a kingdom when he can't even control his own daughter? Uh-oh. Sounds like the fucking plot to a Rob Schneider film. Rob Schneider is... Um... Residence. Let's talk to everybody. That brat Wang says she's made the discovery of a lifetime. Fucking Wang. I'm so happy I could scream. Okay. I'll just see you later. Market. Ah, uh, it's a stuffed animal. Visit our stall in Lean Square. You're not the boss of me, you fucking stuffed animal. Truce Inn. This town is called Truce. Come on in. Take your bloody time. I'd rather serve you than go to the fair anyway. Passive-aggressive. It's adorable. Been to the fair yet? Nope. Boy, get going then. You'll have to wait a thousand years in front of the Millennial Fair. You fucking rascal. You know I can't live that long. Lodging is 10G. No thanks. I own a home. Are you buying? Sorry. Remember the earthquake we just had? No. No airhead, huh? Well, never mind. Hmm. Let's try this again, find out anything about role-playing games. Remember the earthquake? I sure do, friend. We've been having too many, something's wrong. Hope the big one isn't coming. What a boring conversation. This box has been in the family for generations. Open it, you may have what's inside. Sealed by a mysterious force. Just fucking kick it. No way. Fuck this place. Mayor's Manor. Hi, do you know about our establishment? I sure don't. This is the Mayor's Education Center. Think of it as a workshop for beginners. You can take the things you find here. I fucking forgot you can walk around in this game when you're talking to people. Hey, what's up? Need a brief weapons and items seminar? I really don't, but for the sake of showing everyone, I'll hit yes. Weapons include swords, bows, and guns. Some weapons can only be used by specific party members. You'll find a variety of armor for the head and body. 
Finally, there are numerous accessories with unique properties and effects. As you gain power, swords will inflict greater damage. Bows and guns get more powerful as your hit rate increases. Huh. That's neat. You there, infant. I... You son of a bitch. You can walk while reading messages, but go too far and you'll miss them. I just said that. Use the Y button to move the battle slash message window up or down. Zoom, 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 zoom. You old woman. You know about shelters? They're quite useful. I sure don't. Use shelters at save points or on the world map to completely restore HP and MP. Okie dokie. Scattered throughout this world are places where you can save your game. Save whenever you can, especially in unfamiliar or dangerous places. That's just a replica. Record your journey whenever you find the real McCoy. You'll find more of them in riskier areas. Also, remember that you can log in anywhere on the world map. Log in? To fucking... I know what he means, but fuck the words he used. Damn children. Alright, I'll teach you about skills. Are you going to learn? Fucking am I. During combat, the effect of each attack can vary. First, some of your attacks will damage more than one enemy. For example, target this critter, and your attack will hit another monster in the area. But if you target this one, you can get all three at once. Use this fact to your advantage. Next, you can hit enemies in your direct line of sight. There are two attack patterns. The first one allows you to attack all the enemies oriented on a straight line from you. You may place the cursor on any one of them in the line. The other pattern allows you to only hit the enemies in a straight line between you and the target. As in the previous example, all three creatures are targeted here, but... Select this one and that's all you'll get. Oh shit. Next, use an enemy to establish a line, and any others on it will also be hit. They're lined up horizontally here. So you can target any of them. The final pattern puts you at the center of the attack zone. You can't use an attack like this if your enemies are outside the zone, oh no. However, your attack will hit all enemies inside the active zone. That's about it. Feel more confident? A little bit. Confident enough to steal your 100 gold? Want my advice, do I? You've got potential. You'll learn a number of techniques as you progress. Techniques are magic attacks that also utilize your weapons. You'll acquire them with discipline. Neo. Want to learn about damage in battle? Alrighty. Some monsters have special attacks. Poison. HP slowly decreases. Your attacks are weakened. Increases the time between attacks, even though I'm moving faster. Lowers your guard. A good hit will wake you up again. Confuses you into attacking allies. A little tough on friendships. Fucking that bring back terrible memories of Zubats. You can't see too well. It's hard to hit enemies. Lock. Can't use any techniques. Stop. Immobilizes and disables you. That is bullshit. In these situations, your guard is down and you'll sustain more damage. Use heal or wait until the battle ends to heal automatically. Would you like to hear more? Alright. When your HP hits zero, you'll be disabled. Use revive to restore yourself, but if everyone goes down, you're through. Be careful. Hold down the L and R buttons to escape from battle. Know when to run, but you need to fight to grow strong. Now, about the equip menu. Numbers next to the sword and shield icons indicate attack and defense power. The higher the number, the greater the power. MDEF indicates your ability to block magic attacks. If it's 10, then magic damage will be reduced by 10%. A star after any characteristic means it's at its maximum strength. A tonic! See you later, jerkbags. safe place. Oh, hi, Dick. 
wangs off at Lean Square with her father, Tabin, unveiling her new invention. Oh, Wang. We'll go to the, the fair. If you pay a fair fair, you can go to the fair. It's the fairest fair anywhere. Welcome to the Millennial Fair. Have fun. I fucking will, old man. I don't need your permission. I heard Wang and her dad have made another crazy invention. Hope it doesn't blow up like all the others. I hate when Wangs blow up in your face. I know. These fucking jokes write themselves. This is Lean Square. They say people who hear Lean's bell ring will have interesting and happy lives. Thanks for turning off, Brain. Hello? Oh, you're a shop. There's some stuff I can barely afford. Hi there. Maybe we got some shit too. These runners are busy racing, so they won't talk to you. Yeah, there's fucking different games I can play here, and I hate the race. I like this one though. Press the A button while facing the bell. Judge your distance carefully. Press the A button again. Yeah. Impressive. I'll put one silver point in your card. I get silver points, then I can spend them on shit. This kingdom's been through a lot, like the war against Magus, 400 years ago. Really? 400 years ago we've been through a lot? I heard this guy pays big bucks for charms, weapons, pendants, and other rarities. Buy something from Melchior, the swordsmith? Sure! Fucking easy there, money bags. $4,000. I live on the continent to the east. Come visit me sometime. So you can bet on these assholes, but I never win, so... This is the renowned Tent of Horrors. Spend your one silver points here. Parental discretion advised. Fuck you. Last round's winner, Steel Runner. Guess the winner? Sure. Pick randomly? Cadillac. Don't let me down, little fella. I knew it. It's the Green Ambler. This guy randomly speculates on who's going to win. Fuck him. He's not always right. Actually, he tends to be right when you bet against him, because the world is a terrible place. Last round's winner, G.I. Jogger. Nope. What's the big deal? So what if we won a war against the wizard hundreds of years ago? I fucking know, right? These old people need to calm the fuck down. Hello? Oh, no. Girl, hey. Ouch, that hurt. I'm so sorry, are you okay? Uh oh, my pendant. Oh no, don't tell me I lost it. Don't worry, I found it. I have fucking eyes. Oh, thank goodness, my pendant. It has a lot of sentimental value. May I have it back? Sure. I came to see the festival. You live in this town, don't you? I feel a little out of place here. Do you mind if I walk around with you for a while? Sorry. Oh, come on, I don't know anyone around here, please. Oh, it's one of those fucking classic role-playing moments where I'm not allowed to have an opinion on the matter. Okay. You're a true gentleman. Because I said no the first time. Oh, by the way, my name is, er, not Merle, because it is going to be... Willy. We'll put the E on the end. I like it. Willy. And you're... Dick? What a nice name. Pleased to meet you. Now lead on. Carnival Adventures. Yeah, where's my cat? You fucking lost your cat. That's not my problem. By which I mean it is my problem. Get the fuck out of the way, old man. You're out of control. There's the cat. Don't get stuck on the wall like my house cat.
You brought back my cat, thank you. You're so sweet, dick. Yeah, dicks are pretty sweet. <laughs>